Yo, what's up guys? It is Jordan Press. Now we are back with another kind of presentation stock video. This one is is for the barber students. All right. So I recently got out of barber school uh, about March 28th of this year. And now it is August the 19th. So that's like what, five-ish months. Um, and I thought this would be a great video because I recently got out of bar barber school and uh, I think I absolutely kind of dominated. I think I crushed it. I was able to really kind of jumpstart jumpstart my career from barber school because how I acted in barber school, how I was acting before barber school. So I just wanted to kind of break it down just to help you guys if you are in this situation, um, just help y'all give some, a little bit of like a unorthodox advice, not just the normal same stuff y'all hear all the time, right? Uh, so let's get into this, right? Also, I think something that's super important too, why I'm even talking in the first place, by no means am I an expert on everything but I'm in the trenches with you guys on a day-to-day -day basis. That's why I feel like the things I'm gonna be saying are gonna be super relevant and super current and worth your while is because I'm in the trenches currently. Like I said, I just graduated barber school like five-ish months ago and you know, currently in the shop, right? This is nothing I did 20 years ago. This is something I'm doing today. So let's get into it, right? Getting the most out of barber school. Now you can see this picture I have right here is actually the picture of uh, before barber school. This was the setup that I had um, in the garage and uh, just got to get them reps in right so let's break it down we are using our, our triangle again just to kind of format format this uh, to help it make a little bit more sense so why are you even there why are you even in barber school right people people would I would answer this uh, I'm here there to learn how to cut hair I'm there to educate I'm here there to be educated on how to be a barber to have clients to make money and all these I don't think are really what you are there for, right? I think this is why you're in barber school. You're in barber school to be a licensed barber. So let's break it down. You Okay, let's break it down. So to be a licensed barber, to be licensed, you gotta go to school, you gotta learn, take a test, pass, everything, exam, study, cool. And you'll get a license, right? But we're talking about being a licensed barber, right? So what is a barber? A barber is a person who cuts hair especially men's shaves and trims, beards, everything, as an occupation. And what I'm saying is, I feel like the reason why I found a lot of success in and after barber school was because I chose when I became a barber. A lot of uh, people that are in barber school don't want to take on the identity and the responsibility of being a barber. They want to kind of stay as students and let a paper dictate who they are or what they're going to be or when they're going to be able to move and that is something that i've not heard a lot of people say and i think that is like the foundation of what this video is going to be is to be the practitioner be the doer be the person that is getting the reps in and getting it done right so what i want you guys to start doing is changing your identity when you choose to pursue this as an occupation you a you are a barber when you are putting in the reps you are a barber you're not a barber student you are a barber like you know we don't play yourselves down right you are a barber you're just a barber that needs to continue to develop their skill but you are a barber so i want you to be the practitioner i want you to be the doer i want you, we need to start to change our identities we need to start to change our actions so that we can change our result right we are not the barber students. We will be the barbers that will always be students, if that makes sense. So choose today. So now we need to take on a heavier load, right? Since we're not barber students, we're barbers. We got to do things that barbers do so we can get the results that barbers have, right? So what do barbers do, right? We got to worry about the things that barbers do. And I'm like, I'm knighting you. I'm knighting you in the industry of barbering to be a barber today don't don't wait you know be a practitioner so your journey is going to start today so what do barbers worry about what do barbers do right first thing is they cut hair stop being scared to cut hair to zeke people to mess people up right you are you are going to have to get these things out the way you're going to have to learn you need to cut hair you cannot be scared guys what is your schedule of cutting hair inside school or outside of school, right? What shop are you going to work at when you're done with school? You know, you start, you got to start worrying about these things, right? Because you're a barber. Where are you going to cut hair? Are you doing any kind of education outside of school? I can almost 
Okay, I, I have so much confidence when I say this just because all the stories that I heard and even my own experience is that what you're going to learn in school is not going to be enough. So continue to learn outside of school. Like, why hold yourself back, all right? Why? You're a barber. you got to learn these things, right? I was doing continued education in school and even before I was in school so that I can get ahead of the game, right? Do you know how to get clients? Do you know how to keep your clients? Do you know how to make them talk about you? Are you, do you know about taxes at all, right? When, when you start making all this buku money as a barber, right? And what I'm trying to do is just help to give you a perspective shift for you to have a little bit more urgency about your career, right? If you are just focused on passing your barber school exam, you know that's great, but push yourself, right? Put up, like take on a heavier load. And how you do this is just by taking the first step. It's just is is one cut at a time. Getting your reps in, you know, always just continuing to learn. Being just extremely obsessed about this industry, about your clients, and about you know your craft, about your skill. And something I want to tell you guys to help um, just give you some more confidence when it comes to starting out is just recognizing that all of these guys. Sucked in the beginning. Chris Basio, Jeezy, Beam, Big Blends, the guys from Faded Culture, all of them sucked in the beginning. Every barber sucks when they start. Nobody comes out doing the same work that they're doing to this day. If you think about it, that's the craziest thing ever. You're saying that you didn't improve at all. You didn't have anybody show you. All your lineups were crispy. All your fades was blurry. Your scissor work was immaculate off start. Barbering is a skill, guys. And all of these guys, even though they are amazing and they're some of the top um, kind of leaders or just some of the top names in our industry, like these guys had to develop their skills over time and time and time again. They were in barber school just like you. They were giving out trash haircuts just like you, but they pushed themselves to get better, you know? I remember, like, I used to compare my, like, my haircuts to some of these guys, right? And use that to kind of, like, beat me down. Like, oh, my haircuts ain't as nice as Jeezy, so I'm trash. Like, no. Just use these guys to inspire you. Use these guys to mentor you, um, to show you what's possible in this in- industry. But, um... Just remember, right, like they were in the same position that you are. Nobody is better than you and you're not better than nobody else. Just because somebody has some more developed skills than you, knows a little bit more, more than you, you are not better than anybody, but also nobody is better than you. So these are some of the principles that I want y'all to kind of keep on um, throughout your barber school journey is always be learning inside the classroom, outside the classroom, when you're cutting hair, when you're not cutting hair, always be learning right the more information that you can kind of gather up and the more stuff that you can start to do to apply that just the more success you're going to have the faster you're going to be able to reach whatever goals you have set for yourself in this industry and i embody the identity of a barber do the things that that barbers do so you can get the results that barbers get you're not a barber student. You are not somebody in barber school. You are a barber that is learning and take and like hold that, like have that kind of like uh, have that thing about you, man, where you, you keep your head up, you stick your chest out like I'm a barber. What's up, man? Do you need a haircut? Right. I remember when I was in barber school, like the other students didn't feel like they were barbers so it was hard for them to get people to sit in their chair because they didn't have any confidence about themselves and people can tell when you're not confident about yourself or you know me I already had been cutting I already had put in reps so it was easier for me to get people to come in my come in my chair because I had confidence in not that I was going to cut their hair um, the best that it's ever been cut but I have confidence in myself that I'm going to get it done I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to give it my best right obsess over hair Talk about hair. That's something that one, that my instructor, Mr. Humans, always told me was to talk about hair. Be about hair. Be about your clients. Be about your industry. Learn about these things and just obsess. Think five moves ahead, right? Eventually, your barber school is going to finish. What's the plan after that? Are you shadowing any shops? Are you grabbing a broom somewhere? Do you have somebody that's going to help you when you're out of barber school? Like, what's the next step? You know, time is ticking. You know, have some urgency about it, right? 
find a group of like-minded barbers, right? We all know that the group that you have around you, and if you don't know, I'm going to tell you, the group that you have around you is a big dictator of where you are now and where you will be. So what type of barber do you want to be like? What type of barbers do you hang around? What type of people do you hang around, right? You have control of the circles that you put yourself in, and the circles that you put yourself on has to have a big uh, effect on the person and the barber that you will become, all right? And can you please cut some hair? Cut some freaking hair. It's a skill. It's not a talent. You may not be the best at first, but you will be better. Some people, yes, are talented at cutting hair, but they still have skill to develop. I had a lot of skill to develop. I still have skill to develop, and you get that through doing the reps and through cutting hair. Like, no excuses. Get it done, right? Do not be scared. Like, whatever you got to do, cut some hair. So, look, this is how we do not procrastinate, how we do not try to be a perfectionist is by starting today, right? Look, this is a pair of $26 clippers. You could mow somebody's lawn and get these clippers and start cutting hair. People, you could, there's so many different ways that you can get this $26 to get a pair of clippers to start cutting hair. You have no excuses. You should have some uh, clippers in barber school, but if you don't, Get some, or if you're about to go into barber school, get some clippers. Any clippers doesn't matter. They don't have to be the most expensive, the gold clippers, the hundred and sixty, three hundred dollar pair of clippers. Just get some clippers and just start to learn how to cut. Get the Zeeks out the way, right? We've all had Zeeks. We've all had moments where we mess up clients' hair, and if a barber tells you that he's been perfect, he's lying. Every barber has Zeeked somebody at some at some point, right? Get the reps out the way, right? So this is a couple of ways that y'all can actually start to get y'all reps up. It's uh, foster homes, homeless shelters, trade hair, trade trade haircuts with other barber students, um, people that come into the barber school, right? Friends, family, man, cut yourself. When I first started to learn how to cut hair, I was cutting my own hair, right? Man, it can work. Man, it can work when it comes to fade, uh, fades and scissor work, right? Working on a mannequin. That's something that you can do in a controllable environment. People can help you out. You can ask questions, right? Learn mannequin work. Grab a broom in a shop. Go to find go uh, go on to Google, and Google up the most popping shop in your area, and ask if you can just shadow. You can ask some questions and grab a broom. Don't just be taking energy out the shop and not showing no love to the shop. Grab a broom and sweep some hair, man. Like, get used to. Okay, I'm sweeping. <laughs> um, YouTube University, yeah, you know, y'all already started on this because y'all watching the video. YouTube University, right? And to find a successful mentor, it could be one of the guys that I put on the screen. It could be uh, just somebody in your city that is doing well. And when you're looking for that mentor, just m make sure that the success that they're having is success that you would like to have. And that's very important. The success that they're having is the success that you would like to have. And that is the mentor that you should pick. And that's how I pick the people that I listen to. Is that if I was, if I could be in their situation, would I? Like, would I want to be in their situation? Do I like the results that they have? If you don't like the results that I, if you do not have the results that I would like, I'm more than likely not going to take your advice. Simple as that. Nothing personal. But I got goals to hit. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching the video. This one was a little bit more uh, high pace. If you need to rewatch it, if you have any more questions, shoot them down below. I just try to kind of recount a little bit of my barber school experience. Um, and yeah, I would say a big thing is just, man, take the identity shift. And you taking the identity shift helps you get the reps, helps you develop the skill. And an amazing barber will never have a problem getting clients and keeping clients, making more clients. And uh, at the end of the day, being able to support for their family, doing something that they love doing. Right, guys? I appreciate you guys so much. I hope this was a valuable use of your time today. Any questions or comments, throw them down there. Any type of videos that y'all want to see me make, right? I'm only going to be making videos um, on my experiences. I cannot talk about things I do not know about. I want to make sure that um, this is that these videos are valuable and that um, I'm not just giving you regular Joe Schmo content, all right? It's been Jordan Perez. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.